Hey, what's up guys? Happy 10th anniversary for KI. Today I got a quick video just showing you guys how to install Reshade on the Windows 10 version and the Steam version. But yeah, it looks really good, so super easy tutorial. Makes it look awesome. Enjoy, dudes. Okay, so super easy. We're gonna go to Reshade, and uh, I'll leave the link in the description down below. Click download. Get your... Reshade 5.9.2. Download that. Already got it. So you have it. Go open your Reshade Me setup and install anyway. So you'll see KI. That's from Steam. I'll touch on Steam after this. Right now we're doing the Windows version. So go to Browse. Find your install for the new KI Anniversary. Yeah, we're gonna go to the main KI folder, Killer Instinct, Content, and if we try and use this one, what you would normally do, we're gonna get a uh, permission error. So we're gonna use the Game Launcher Helper.exe, and that lets us get ahead. So we're gonna click Next, DirectX 10, 11, 12. I think it's using 10. It's a pretty old game, so. Just click next here. Next here. You can add all this if you want. I'm just using a couple effects. Next. Really, all I'm using is. Um, Vibrance and Luma Sharpen. But yeah, I can put them all in. Click next. Finish. And if it did that correctly, you'll notice when you go back to the content folder, you'll have reshade shaders. Now, when we launch KI, you'll see this at the top. Be installed successfully, so I'll run through the setup real quick. Super easy, so we're going to press home on the keyboard to bring this up. Just click uh, continue. Continue. I've already got these. I must have remembered my old settings. But yeah, you can already see here how clear and vibrant all this is compared to how it normally looks. So go to your settings, set a toggle key. So just click in here. I usually just do F1 on my keyboard. And the home is where you're gonna have all your, your options here. Let's click continue. It's just giving you the tutorial, so click finish. You can drag this up. Click your active to top, so whatever effects you have that are active will be at the top there. And if you only want to load those, which I, what I would recommend, click on load only enabled effects. And that's what I have my settings at for my Luma Sharpen and my Vibrance. You can kind of play with them yourself. So you've got your sharpening strength, your sharpening limit. And uh, your Vibrance, so you can see what kind of what that does your sharpening so I'll get into a game here and I'll show you guys what the characters actually look like with it turned on and off and we'll run a performance test too. Like, you don't need a very fast computer to do this. Like, my rig is like a good 10 years old. I'm rocking an i7 4790K with a GTX 980 Ti. Like, my shit's old. And this will run it full speed, no problem. Even with reshade going. I'm running at 1440p right now. Usually I run 120 hertz, but I dropped it to 60 hertz just to do the recording. So 
So I'll do a performance test real quick. And we can even toggle the effects on and off with the F1 button. But dude, look at this, man. This is so sick. And like, I swear you couldn't do this before with before the anniversary edition came out. Like you couldn't even get into the KI folder. But now you can, and if you do that game launcher helper file with reshade, you can do this shit, and it's fucking incredible. Initially, I got the Steam version real cheap just to try messing around with Reshade, and it looked amazing. So I was kind of bummed it wouldn't work on the uh, Windows app version, like the Xbox app. But it does now, so hopefully you guys can have some fun with this and uh, really boost the graphics up. I think Iron Galaxy was supposed to do some kind of graphic upgrade, but it really doesn't look any different. Unless you do this, then it looks fucking amazing. But yeah, I'll touch on the uh, the Steam install next, just to show you guys that. That's all pretty basic, but uh, yeah, we got a good score here, even with Reshade running. Alright, I'll switch over to uh, Steam, I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. Okay, so I've already got this installed, so I'll just uninstall it real fast. Let's uninstall. Essentially the same process. Steam version. Let's see right here. Next, DirectX 10, 11, 12. Thing, next, next, finish. That's it. And then, uh, play. Should get our little installer thing up top. Alright, well. You could probably skip that because I just showed you guys how to do that. But either way, we'll go over to our settings. Make sure our toggle's set. I like F1. Um, home. We don't need all these. But I like to drag this up just to have more room to see what I'm doing. And then go back to settings. Load only. Enable effects. And that's it. Um, we can press home on your keyboard to bring this on and off and then F1 will enable disable your effects it's putting it on and off right there I'll just start up uh, practice mode just so you can see the difference and I'm sure like YouTube's not gonna do much justice to this like you'll have to really see it with your own eyes to get the full difference of the before and after but, oh my god so much better I do this with almost all my games that I can install Reshade with. Welcome. Look at this new character art. Oh my god, so good. Cool thing. They added all the, uh, the figurine colors. I've got a few of them in my display cabinet, but I don't have Spinal or Sako. But yeah, that's super rad. Super cool they added the, the color tons that were only available to, uh, you could redeem a code with those, with the action figures you could get from, I uh, can't remember the company that did those, but oh my god, they're great, they're so good. Ready. Fight. Yeah, check it out. Super clear. There's without. Well, we're all used to seeing this, that kind of washed out, gray, filtery look that it has to it. But uh, 
when you up the sharpness and and vibrance man oh my god it looks so good anyways hope you guys like the, tut the tutorial i will see you dudes online happy 10th anniversary for ki everyone catch you later